Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joel, and today we're gonna to be talking about a quick update regarding Wirestock. So if you haven't heard yet, there is a huge news, and that is that Wirestock and iStock Getty are finally gonna be partnering up. If you're not already familiar with iStock Getty, then basically they're one of the largest stock agencies in the entire world. In fact, considered one of the top three agencies that you wanna to contribute to. So if you're a current Wirestock contributor like I am, you would have received an email at the beginning of July sharing this news of the new collaboration. So let's take a look at that email real quick and go from there. So the email reads basically, hey, we've got some good news for you. Wirestock is happy to announce the start of the collaboration with Getty Images, which is a huge marketplace that you can now sell on. Please note that we will now be submitting all of your content to iStock and Getty Images. If you would like not to have your portfolio to be submitted to iStock or Getty Images, or you already have images that are published there, please let us know by replying to this email before July 12th. So now if you're like me and you already have some images on iStock Getty as well as Wirestock, um, then you probably have a few more questions regarding all this, especially after reading the email, because some of it was maybe not exactly clear. So I reached out to Wirestock to try to get a little bit more clarification, and here's what I found out. So essentially what this means is that if you've got images already in your Wirestock portfolio that are also on iStock Getty, then you're gonna wanna send that opt-out email ahead of time just to make sure there's no like duplicate images being mass submitted. That way you don't have any like duplication issues. Another question is, is will all of your submitted images and or videos be automatically submitted to iStock Getty after July 12th? And the short answer is no. I did reach out to Wirestock uh, to get a little bit more clarification on that because the email, like the wording in the email threw me off a little bit. Um, but I was told by Wirestock that uh, they will be implementing a button so you can select just like you can with any of the other agencies like Adobe Stock or Shutterstock or anything like that. There'll be a button that you can actually opt in to select which agencies you want to submit each of your individual in items to, and that's going to be implemented sometime in the beginning of the week of July 12th. So as far as what kind of file types you can submit, um, it looks like it's going to be at least video and images, but I'm not quite sure about vector files. So another question is, if you opt out, like before July 12th, will you be able to opt in later? And the short answer is yes. Uh, you will be able to submit your files at a later date. Again, they're going to have that new button that they're placing on there. So you'll be able to go back through those images and then submit just to iStock Getty if you want to, just like you already can with any other images or videos that you have um, where you've only selected certain agencies. And as far as commission rates are concerned, it's gonna be that Wirestock will still take the same 15% commission that they already do on all of the other stock agencies as well. So there's no change there. So I hope that helps give, answer a few questions about this new uh, partner program with Wirestock and iStock Getty. Um, if you guys are also not too familiar with Wirestock, if you haven't signed up yet, uh, you're on the fence. Um, I do have a whole bunch of videos that I've done about it, kind of going through everything from an overview through kind of all the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, and even a recent one where I talked about their new premium option as well. So you can determine whether that's right for you or not. Um, Go watch those real quick, and then if you still decide that you want to sign up to Wirestock, well then just ask that you use my link below. I would really appreciate that. So thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe uh, for more content like this. And also feel free to check out my channel as well, because I've got a bunch more of, like stock earnings uh, videos on there and other stock photography videos. And I'll be putting up some more content too about some like new lenses and cameras and stuff like that that I finally getting around to filming. So be sure to look for that uh, again. And if you're interested in some travel stuff, I got a little on there as well, but also we've got a lot more on my other channel, uh, which is the Wandering Hearts. And I'll have a link in that there. And that's basically uh, my travels with my wife, um, all sorts of cool places. So thanks for watching and cheers. Getty Images and iStock are now... <laughs>